Hey guys, welcome back to episode two of the City to Surf training series um, with Heart Foundation and myself. I'm gonna get straight into it today, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll pop a link up here to the previous video for you to check out, um, get an idea about what the series is about and also um, the first episode, obviously. So today's episode is all about how to avoid injuries in the lead up to City to Surf. If you're watching this video as uploaded, and only just getting started with your training, um, then avoiding injury is seriously crucial because you want to maintain a really good training regime and you want to be able to run the event on the day, obviously. So the first thing I want to talk about is the importance of having really good shoes. I'm sure you've heard it all the time. There's one really good article on the City to Surf website about it. Um, shoes are supposed to have a lifetime of about 1,000 kilometers approximately. So if you're beyond that, then I recommend you go and get a proper shoe check, a proper foot check, sorry, and get the right pair of shoes. Make sure you try them out before race day though. Never try something new on the day of the event, especially because blisters are not fun. The next thing I wanna talk about is probably a little bit obvious for some of you, um, but I cannot stress the importance of it enough, and that is hydration. Water composes more than half of the human body and also helps regulate temperature. But more importantly, dehydration leads to uh, loss in coordination, increased risk of injury, and also muscle fatigue. And when you're training in the lead up to city surf and also completing the event on the day, you do not want muscle fatigue before you're ready to give up. And the last thing, especially in the high volume stages of your training, is to incorporate cross training into your routine. So that could be doing cardiovascular fitness at high volume in different areas or disciplines. Um, you might choose to get on a bike, you might choose to be in the water, depending on your body and the impact that it might have on your joints. That's kind of up to you to decide and pick something that you really enjoy, but be really aware of your body and recovery time um, and incorporate cross training where possible. That's the three main pointers from me today, team. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video. Um, I hope all your training is going really well in the lead up to City to Surf, and I hope you're enjoying this video series with Heart Foundation and myself. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow on the last two episodes of this series, and I will catch you guys in the next video.